Hey everyone, do you need a food haul that will help bring you some sanity? Well, stick around, I'll show you what I got today. Hey everyone, welcome back to my home. This is Lynn Wilson with At Home with Lynn Wilson. Well, today is my day off from work but it's not a day off from running a household. So this Wilson household has to keep running. And we had a lot of errands to do today. I had two doctor's visits for my husband. We had to go get the car checked out. We got a new van, which I need to do a video on that and tell you, God blessed us with a new to us van. So I'll fill you in on those details. Um, just a few other errands. And while I was out, our youngest son, who has autism, and if you know anything about autism, they must have certain foods all the time. They're very regimented in what they eat, how they eat it, and so on. So of course, we were out of ranch and honey mustard dressing, so that was priority on the food list for today. So I didn't pick up a grocery haul that would be like a wow, healthy, nutritional, fruits and veggies, whole grain grocery haul. So if that's what you're looking for, you're not going to get it today. But if you are in a situation where life is just stressful, if you're in a situation where you can barely add one and one when you get up in the morning because of so much going on, you know, I have mentioned in my previous video, we've been through a lot um, and I'm trying to bring my stress to success and I'm trying to work through that and get to the other side with what we all have going on right now in our home. So sometimes you just need to say time out. I'm a full-time working mother. I run five people where they need to be. I don't have a lot of time in a given day to make a nutritional meal. And it's for a season. It's just for a season. And yes, I know it's cheaper to make homemade. It's cheaper to eat inside the home and all of that good stuff. But you know what? Sometimes sanity outweighs eating a super nutritional meal as well as a budget-friendly meal. Now with that being said, if we were to go out to dinner, we would probably spend for the three of us like at Applebee's between $50 to $70 for three nice dinners with a beverage, um, you know, whether it's a soda or an iced tea. And then of course you have the tip and the tax and so that's a lot of money even just for three people. So to stay at home, it would probably, I could probably make a meal for $10 or less depending on what we ate. Um, but I'm kind of in the middle and I need to find balance. I need to find what could be nutritional, what could be quick and easy. And for this lady, this lady needs some sanity. So today while we were out and about, I ran to Aldi's. I don't know if you have an Aldi's by you. We have an Aldi's, oh, about 20 minutes in each direction from us. We also have what's now, um, considered all these competitive which and I think I'm saying this correctly it's called Lidl's and it's like an Aldi's but they have a fresh bakery section they have some interesting home furnishings and crafts you can get some craft supplies there they have a huge vegan um, vegetarian and organic section I have to say I don't like their meats that's just me but anyway, it's not about that store. I just figured I'd throw that in there. So let's look at what I got. I did get some um, fruits and some other odds and ends and some non-perishable items as well as some household things. So let me show, show you what I got. We got this utility runner. It's a rug. Um, it's machine washable, which kind of caught my eye because we have a dog. And if you have a dog, you know footprints kids, muddy shoes. Um, anyway, it was $9.99. It's just black with little flecks of white in it. I kind of like that and I'm trying to see the size for you. Utility rug, skid resist, resistant, machine washable, great for high traffic areas. Oh, here we are, 24 inches by 72. So for $10, I need a new rug. So we got that. And that was, again, sanity for this mama she needs to get something like a little treat. I also got this table, which is a great folding table. You can see, whoo, losing my food. 
Um, you can see on here, it just folds up. Look how nice. The footprint is nice and flat. You can put it in a coat closet. You can slide it under your couch. It folds up. We had two of these somewhere in one of our travels of teaching Vacation Bible School last year. We think we left it at one of the churches that we help with, so they now have a donation. So we got a new table, especially with my husband not being well, it's nice to have a table to put dinner on and stuff for him. So let me walk you through what I got, gave you some ideas of prices. I'm in New Jersey. I have to say, from what I see on other people's food halls that live Midwest and so on, um, even in Virginia, their prices are a whole lot cheaper than ours. Um, Aldi's had eggs for $1.09 a dozen. I have paid as low as 38 cents a dozen there. Um, the bananas, I got some nice green ones because I've got some yellow ones on the kitchen table that are ready for banana bread or um, to be eaten very quickly. But these were 38 cents a, do uh, a dozen. Oh my goodness, I'm thinking of eggs. 38 cents a pound, so that was a good deal. Um, strawberries. We will be getting strawberries here in New Jersey starting around June, uh, mid-June to end of June, very short season to go picking in the gardens and the uh, farms that we have locally. But these were $1.29 a container. I thought that was pretty good. They're by Foxy. And so I got two of these. I don't know, I might dehydrate these. I had dehydrated some before and I had a very uh, small amount, but I think I might dehydrate most of these, eat a few, but then this way I can make some strawberry bread and things later on. We got butter, a pound of butter. It was $2.71. I don't know what you all pay. Um, leave me a comment below what state you're from or where you're from and how much you pay per pound. Normally, my local store, which is five minutes away, is $5.49 a pound. That's tough. That's a lot of money. If I hit Walmart, $2.99 to $3.49 a pound, which is good. This was $2.71. The cheapest we usually get around Christmas is $2.49 and then I stock up because I make shortbread. But that was a good deal. Got some sour cream, just Aldi's brand, 89 cents. Um, brioche rolls, they're normally $2.49 for the four. And I got a dollar off coupon at the register, so they were $1.49. They're a little squished, you can see. If you look at them, I don't really care. They throw some meat burger on it or something like that. No one's going to know they were squished. I saved two dollars. It was worth it. Um, treat for my son. Some chocolate chip muffins. Ramen. We can't live without ramen. If you have someone in your family that's autistic, you probably stock up on ramen. I do myself occasionally enjoy some ramen noodles. They were a dollar 94 a box. I remember buying them for my oldest son and we used to pay like 89 cents a box. So um, they've gone up a little bit. Um, I have another dozen, more like a slider size of the brioche rolls. They're um, $2.49 for the package. I'm going to put these in the freezer for later on. And then we come to some of the frozen things. Chicken nuggets, staple in this family for breakfast for my youngest son. Every morning he eats chicken nuggets will not eat cereal. If he eats cold cereal, it's just plain. Will not put milk in it. I make baked oatmeal, he'll eat that. He will not eat yogurt. He will not eat eggs. Certain breakfast meats, maybe. Um, here in New Jersey, we have what we call pork roll or Taylor ham. And um, let me know in the comments below, if you're from New Jersey, what you call it, pork roll or Taylor ham. If you've never had it, it's a taste of heaven. It's delicious, but not something you would eat every day. But he'll eat that, but not really on anything else. And so if he's willing to eat chicken nuggets, we're going to do it. I usually get the natural ones by Purdue, 100% natural. But again, I was there. I picked these up. These were $2.79. I normally pay $4.99 and up. Um, some of these, these were $2.49. Beard battered fish fillets. I thought that might be quite nice. Again, this is something that... Him and my husband will snack on. I can use it for a dinner, but they'll use it for a snack. And again, we're doing quick and easy here. Things that 
help my sanity. I come home, I gotta get in and out the door. We have appointments and so on right now. Life is crazy. I don't have time to make homemade like I really would like to. Um, potatoes are brine if you've ever had these. They're delicious. They have onions, red and green peppers in them, chopped up little on, um, chopped up little potatoes. Again, you can do this homemade. It probably would be cheaper. This was $2.49. I thought that was a good deal. I have um, battered, honey battered chicken tenders. We do not like when you buy the chicken tenders and they're like crunchy on the outside. We don't like chewing on those. So I thought I'd try these. Um, battered, honey battered. I thought they'd be nice. So I also, this was a little pricey. Yes, pricey, but sanity. They are um, cheese tortellinis, vacuum sealed. Take two minutes to cook up. Take this, add some sauce with it, or a little olive oil and palm cheese and um, salt and throw that with a vegetable or a salad. I've got something quick and easy. So I could cook up the two of these, $5 for a meal plus a salad. It's cheap, it's quick, it's easy. I can have dinner on the table in 10 minutes and probably have a little leftover for lunch the next day. Then snacks for us on the road. We are finding that cheese sticks. I have cheddar cheese sticks and string cheese. And this is bite-sized salami. Um, we have found this, just a couple of these. And maybe if you wanna bring crackers, but put these in a little cooler bag in the car with some water bottles. We've got something to sustain us, especially if we're out and it's getting like 6, 6.30 at night and we haven't had dinner and everybody's hungry. And with my husband with his seizures, he has to eat. So I can throw these in a bag quick and easy. A couple of hard boiled eggs and he's good for a little bit. Hot dogs. We all love hot dogs. So I'm gonna make hot dogs actually for tonight's dinner. Just something fun. It's my day off. We're gonna celebrate. We're gonna have hot dogs. And I have crescent rolls. They had these on sale for 79 cents and um, it's their brand, it's called Bakehouse Creations. So I got two of these, but I'm gonna probably save one for something else and then wrap the hot dogs in them, put them in the air fryer, cook them up, make a salad or something to go with it, will be good. So I also, I'm gonna try this. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it from Aldi's. It says whole and simple sesame chicken skillet with brown rice, onion, broccoli, red, bell peppers and white meat chicken 13 grams of protein no trans fats no added hormones no antibiotics um, 106 grams of whole wheat grain and the package is 22 ounces one pound six ounces total so it looked quick and easy it looked like something it has make in the microwave make on the stove top it's done in Let's see what it says here. Let's see, seven to eight minutes. So, hey, again, come home. I can have this in the table on the table in 15 minutes. Maybe add a nice roll with this. And again, maybe a side salad or some coleslaw might be nice with this. What do you think, coleslaw? What do you think? What would you put with this? I'm trying to think. I think I might do coleslaw, even though I don't have any. Sounds good anyway. Um, picked up some honey. I have some recipes that are up and coming. I do like to get local honey. We have a friend um, who have a honeybee farm, but I'm down to just a little bit of honey and um, I haven't seen them to get any. So I picked this up, it was $4.99. I don't know if that's expensive because I don't usually buy honey, I get it from a friend. So anyway, I needed it, we got it. Again, I like homemade. If you know me, I like everything from scratch, even if I don't need it to make it from scratch. I just like to do it. That's just the way I like to do things. I'm on a kick right now. I wanna make homemade butter. And my local friends, will, oh, here she goes again, making homemade. I like doing it. But right now, it's called Saturday. Time out for Lynn. So I picked up three bean chili soup mix, 2.49. It makes, uh, you put seven cups of water, a can of tomato paste, cook it down for 20 minutes. Sanity saver. Make some cornbread, we're good. Creamy potato soup. My husband and I made this 
last week we weren't really hungry for dinner I made one of these it was a different brand but I'm gonna try this one and I had some toast with it and that was all we felt like for dinner it was great and we even had leftover so again something quick and easy I don't normally do this I make homemade soup that's my specialty um, but you know what no homemade when you're going crazy cheddar broccoli soup mix I picked that up and chicken noodle soup mix just something fun I also needed some cooking spray I usually get um, my Walmart order I order online I haven't done that so I picked up the canola and also the olive oil to have those on hand I couldn't remember if I was low and they're cheap $1.29 each I got them I picked up some thin sliced pork chops it was $4.43 and there's one two three four five six seven eight pork chops in here for four dollars on this um, 50 cents I have a recipe I'm going to be doing in the instant pot I'll have a video on that it's bacon honey soy um, with the pork chops in the instant pot I can't wait to show you that picked up a jar of salsa this is my treat I'll probably use maybe a third of it for chips and the other two-thirds dump on top of chicken in the crock pot put your chicken in it dump the salsa on it that's all you have to do turn it on low for four to six hours and you've got a great chicken this is a staple in our family this would be like saying I have no eggs or milk ranch and honey mustard autistic absolutely must have their dips honey mustard and ranch maybe mayonnaise and ketchup but if I don't have these two oh, stress in this house uh, what else did we get I picked up some restaurant restaurant style tortilla chips to go with my salsa this is mom's treat picked up cheese lasagna rolls this was $4.99 it's ready in 12 minutes in the microwave you get 12 rolls you know what for five dollars 12 rolls again throw a side of broccoli some green beans a salad whatever just throw that with this in 12 minutes I can have lasagna rolls I can have a side dish of some sort I can have a quick and easy dinner within 30 minutes we could be at the table and almost done with dinner and have included that uh, cooking time in that this has been a treat for my son we've been buying um, hamburger patties all natural beef patties 100 percent pure beef cooked from frozen ready in minutes we throw these in the air fryer they come out great throw a slice of cheese on it everything he eats has to be on bread so throw that on a roll or two pieces of bread he's got a sandwich this is a snack for him this is not necessarily a meal he's 17 growing boy i'd rather him eat this than a donut the last food item that I have is dip and strips 16 pepperoni pizza strips you also get two dips marinara and buttery flavored garlic dipping sauce it's like little breadsticks I don't know but make this make a salad maybe some meatballs on the side throw in a vegetable kind of have a buffet dinner everybody can pick out what they want We'll have leftover for snacks that night or lunch the next day or whatever but it came with the two dipping sauces and 16 strips and i thought that's a good deal for five bucks i couldn't you know i couldn't do oh, little caesars you can get your five dollar pizza but i thought that was pretty good put that in the freezer all right i'm making a mountain here let's get this the other thing i purchased was disinfecting wipes this was $2.79 and it has 75 wipes. I really see if I can find it real quick. Or $2.49. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Because I know I like to know prices too when people buy things. Oh, let's see. Disinfectant wipes. Sorry about this. Here, $2.99. Okay. So $2.99 for 75 wipes. I think that's pretty good. I, you know, I really don't care. I, these are the kind of things you just have to buy where I work we have um, flu going around colds it's that end of the season you know before spring everybody's getting head colds and stuff and um, so anyway I picked these up 
doorknobs, wipe off the counters, you know, toilet bowls, all that kind of stuff. So, okay. And the other thing I got was vinegar, distilled white vinegar, one gallon. I use this for a lot. My husband um, uses this for breathing machines and I use it for cleaning in the house clean the windows, all that kind of stuff. But I'll tell you what I really, really use it for is my wash. If you um, want a disinfectant in your wash, use vinegar. I don't use um, dryer sheets or any kind of softener. I only use vinegar. So I put a cup to two cups in my wash depending on how big the load is. And if you hear somebody chomping away or munching, that's just our dog Kip having his afternoon lunch before dinner and slopping up some water. So sorry about that noise if you hear it. But anyway, the vinegar that I have, I do put in my wash on every single load. I don't even like to use bleach anymore. Occasionally, if something really needs it, I'll put that in there, but I just use the vinegar to disinfect all my wash. Towels, you have smelly towels. You know how it's like, you hang it up, they get musty um, or if you're like our kids, they left them in the back of the car for two days after going to the swimming lake, the ocean, or the swimming pool, and they smell bad. Don't worry, throw some vinegar in there. It cleans it right up, it's great. The other thing is if you have teenagers, white socks, when they put them in a ball after they take them off and they forget they've been under their bed for a week and then you pull them apart and they crunch, ugh, hate that. But throw those in the wash with your vinegar and your soap powder, whatever you like to do, and they come out great. So anyway, this is my food haul. Um, again, this is from Aldi's, we're in New Jersey. Let me know what you guys like to do. Do you find Aldi's a better spot for you? Are you near an Aldi's? Are my prices comparable to where you are? I'd love to hear. I like watching food hauls and I like to compare notes. How much did they pay and so on. Again, this is a sanity food haul. This is something to get me through a week to 10 days until I can breathe. Give yourself grace. I've talked about that. Allow yourself to realize, you know what, that in 30 minutes, I can have cooked something, put it on the table, and we could probably have eaten it. Maybe 35 minutes, and I can get out the door with the next thing that I need to do. Once the doctor's visits slow down, once my husband's feeling better, when we get on a better routine with my parents and helping them out, um, if you haven't heard from my previous videos, my parents have hung up their keys. They're no longer driving, which means I have five people that I need to take care of, two households to run errands for, two households to do food shopping for, and so on. So my schedule's tight, and I'm a little, <gasps> so I need to breathe. And helping me breathe, helping me to realize this is for a season. This is for a few days. This is for a few weeks. This is not the rest of my life. I have done this food haul. Yes, we have fruits and vegetables also here. We have some fresh veggies and salads in the refrigerator. I have meats in the freezer. I have some cans of um, canned goods that I have put together myself. We have other things, but this will get me through a week where we don't have to eat out, which costs a lot of money, which um, can affect the budget greatly. We can also do it simple, quick, and easy. I can feel like I've had something homemade and sit down with the family even if it's for a few minutes. So leave a comment below, like and subscribe, let me know how you're doing and I hope you had a great day.